I want to talk about the slope of a line. The slope measures the steepness of a line. By definition, it's the ratio of the vertical change, which is the change in y, between two points on the line and the horizontal change, which is the change in x. So if I had to write a formula for slope, slope equals, we call it the rise, which is the change in y, over the run, which is the change in x. If I want to put it another way, I can say the slope is, like I said, the change in y divided by the change in x. In words, typically the formula is written this way, m is slope, and we have the difference of the y's. So we call it two points, point one and point two. So we take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I take the difference of the y's divided by the difference of the x's. So if I had to look at number one and find the slope of a line through these two points, I'll write my formula down. It's the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's. So now I'll call this point two, this point one. So I have to take minus three or negative three minus four. There are the difference of my y's. I take the difference of my x's, minus 1, minus minus 2. Make sure you understand why it's a double negative. Because I'm taking the difference, that's this negative, the point itself is negative 2. So then I get negative 7, negative 1 plus 2. So I get negative 7 over 1, so the slope is negative 7. We'll do another one. I have to find the slope of a line through these two points. I'll write my formula down. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I take my y, which is minus 4, this y, so it's minus minus 3. Divided by my minus 1, minus 5. So I'm going to get minus 4 plus 3, which gives me minus 1. I'm going to get minus 1 minus 5, which is minus 6. You can't leave your answer that way because you have to know when I have a fraction or any answer only has one sign. But negative over negative, my answer is positive 1 sixth. Let's do another one. The slope of a line through these two points. So, slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Minus 2 minus minus 4. So you've got to watch your signs. I take my y minus minus 1. I get minus 2 plus 4. I'm going to get a 2. I get 3 plus 1, I'm going to get a 4. All fractions have to be simplified, so my slope's positive a half. One more thing. Positive slope, we talk about a positive slope, looks like this. We go from left to right. Negative slope looks like this. We go from left to right. Zero slope. is a horizontal line. Undefined slope is a vertical line.